Robert Thompson, a biographer of Kate Middleton, reveals the heartbreaking reason why she considered renouncing her role as Princess of Wales. Join us as we uncover the details of this story. It all seemed extremely stressful for her. A new biography about Kate Middleton has hit the bookshelves at a particularly delicate time for the Princess of Wales. Distanced from her official duties, Middleton continues her chemotherapy treatment with no set date for her full return. In fact, rumors about her whereabouts and condition have been circulating nonstop in the British media. There is concern for the princess who has reappeared on several occasions since announcing her cancer diagnosis, a moment of great significance both for the crown and for Kate herself. Receiving the immense love of the citizens is something she will never forget. Middleton remains surrounded by her husband and children and is in constant contact with King Charles Roman III. Their illnesses have brought them closer together. It is in this context that this new biography has been released. Robert Hobson reveals, among other things, how the well-known breakup of the Prince and Princess of Wales occurred before their widely publicized wedding. But it doesn't stop there. Kate Middleton also considered renouncing the title of Princess of Wales. A tremendous fear made her question whether to continue. In the end, she accepted but what happened in the meantime. Hobson states in Catherine, the princess that Middleton considered following in the footsteps of Queen Camilla, who, when she married King Charles, did not adopt the title of Princess of Wales out of respect for the memory of Diana. Instead, she became the Duchess of Cornwall, a title she held until the death of Queen Elizabeth Roman II and the subsequent coronation of her son. But what led Middleton to consider this unexpected decision? She knew that comparisons with Diana would be inevitable, since Diana's death caused a wave of anger and grief. And she was right. The similarities and differences between the two women have been analyzed, dissected, and even debated within the royal household. Hobson explains in his book that Kate felt everything would be too stressful. Kate's fears did indeed come true, but she accepted the title that was rightfully hers. There is no pressure because Kate has to forge her own path, assured Prince William when asked about the inevitable comparisons in an interview. No one can replace my mother. What she did was fantastic. The key is to make our own path and our own future, and Kate will do an excellent job. Even so, the princess had her doubts when it came to measuring up to the late Diana of Wales. The tributes from Kate Middleton to Diana were many. Although at the time Middleton became Princess of Wales, the comparisons to Lady Diana were unavoidable. The reality is that Prince William's wife was more than accustomed to this. Since the announcement of their official engagement, there had been constant analyzes leading people to draw comparisons with the late wife of King Charles. Diana remains such an iconic figure that it is impossible to avoid these comparisons. Want more content like this? Give us a like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell to stay updated with the latest news from the world of celebrities.